Hello and welcome to the Infused Business Rules with Machine Learning AI demo. By combining machine learning and artificial intelligence with business rule declarative decisions, we can make business decisions with greater flexibility and accuracy. For an automated loan approval decision, historical data allows us to train a predictive model to provide insight into the risk of default. And combining this with business rules for policy enforcement ensures a more complete overall decision. Let's start our loan approval demo by taking a look at the application data. Here is a simple form that includes data about our borrower, Joe, including his 25 years as a customer of the bank. It also includes information about the loan and additional background. All this is passed in a decisioning system, including the predictive machine learning model and business rule services, to calculate scoring and determine eligibility. In this case, Joe is approved as a very low-risk customer. Now let's take a look at how the business rules are involved in prescribing the eligibility decision. Taking on the persona of our business rule author, she starts with our decision model and notation diagram that represents the overall decision. From the bottom up, the data is in green ovals, and the sub-decisions and final decision are in blue rectangles. Data types can be easily defined in a no-code builder on the left side, including complex types such as the borrower and the loan that we see here. We also notice a special data element in our model, the risk of payment default, which is calculated by our machine learning model and fed to our rules as a likelihood score. We'll cover this in more detail next. Let's look at the rules within the salary score subdecision. We find a decision table based on yearly income ranges that result in a defined salary score for each tier. The salary score then feeds a corporate score, and finally all these result in a loan grade. This provides an industry method to summarize overall risk. In a unique and powerful combination, this decision table considers sub-decision outputs such as the corporate score, as well as the predictive models output the risk of payment default in determining the final grade. Let's review the main approval decision and the rules we added there. We see a risk grade text rule that ensures we do not consider any grades below C. Our business rule author also looks over additional rules, some based on the risk score that we got from our AI machine learning model combined with additional data. If there's too much risk, the loan is then denied. Now it's time to validate. And Decision Composer includes an embedded validation tab ready for us to check our decisions. Accepting some auto-generated defaults and updating a few fields, we immediately click on the Run button to see the output. In this case, too high of a payment risk to be approved. However, if we ensure the borrower has been with the bank for a longer time and run the rules again, we see that Joe is indeed approved for his loan. Let's go back and see how the system learns from the past loan data to build a predictive model for payment default risk. Here, a Watson Studio Jupyter Notebook is used to document and train the predictive model. Now as a data scientist, we use Watson Studio to author a Jupyter Notebook and build a predictive model for loan payment default. We start by loading data, creating an Apache Spark-based machine learning model, and then storing that model to use later as a scoring service. Scrolling through the notebook, we review the historical loan approval data. The first 10 rows shown here, including the result of payment default, shown as a Boolean 1 or 0. We then split our data into three sets, the first 800 or so for training, the next 100 for testing, and the final 50 for prediction. During training, we evaluate the model accuracy with the test data and find a high 98% accuracy level. Once the model is complete, we store it and expose it as a REST API that can be combined with the business rules. Now that we have these two decision technologies integrated, we are ready to infuse business rules with AI by predicting the likelihood of loan payment default and then applying business policies. We see the payment default of this loan application is calculated by machine learning as above 50%. And our business rules combine this with additional policy rules to determine the risk is too high and denies the application. Business rules and machine learning are two distinctly different but very complementary approaches to making decisions. Business rules encapsulate knowledge that we're certain about, like policies and regulations. A machine learning model, on the other hand, is trained to forecast something uncertain based on what's happened in the past. Thus, machine learning predictions are indications expressed as probability. Using knowledge and policy to set boundaries and predictions to guide us within those boundaries, enterprise decisions are not a question of whether to use business rules or machine learning, but how to use them together. Get ready to infuse AI and business rules within the operations of your business to learn from the past policy enforcement and improve your future, all while retaining trust and transparency across your decisions. Thank you for watching the demo, and try Decision Composer today at decision-composer.ibm.com.